The NFL Draft is done and over, and I am going to be breaking down each and every team and grading out their draft. So check back every day because one team I will do every single day, and I'll have it up here on YouTube for you to watch. We'll go over every prospect that they drafted as well as some key undrafted free agents that they may bring in. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I'll be sure to address them for you. Also, just be aware of my draft grades. No one fails the draft, especially right after it. Even no one in this draft is going to get a D or an F from me because they, everyone had a talent. Everyone did something. So if you think the grades are a little bit high, that's just me not going to too much extremes. And maybe in three or four years when we look back on this draft, then we can see who really succeeded and who really failed. So sit back, relax, enjoy me as I break down every single team this year. Draft expert Shane Hallam shows off his knowledge. Writing mock drafts, prospects from the best college. Breaking down tape, he might develop a man crush. Tearing up guys, taking questions in a rush. Comparisons, learning lessons. Shane saves the day, oy vey. Hulk or banner, doesn't matter. Listen, cause here's who can play. Alright everyone, today we're going to be grading the Buffalo Bills. And the Buffalo Bills had a very interesting draft. In the first round, they drafted C.J. Spiller running back out of Clemson. And this is a guy that was touted as a top 10 pick because of his versatility. He can catch balls out of the backfield, return kicks. He went up the middle some at Clemson. A little bit of everything, jack of all trades. It was just surprising that the Bills drafted him with a big needed quarterback as well as left tackle. So I like the pick. I think he's very talented. I think he can add to this run game. It's the type of back that Chan Gailey likes to have, built on speed. And looks like this whole draft is built on the run game and stopping the run. In the second round, they drafted Terrell Troop, nose tackle out of UCF. And Terrell Troop was an underrated prospect. He may not be on a lot of people's radars, but it was a pretty good pick. Bills are moving to the 3-4 defense. They needed a nose tackle, and Troop was a guy that showed up in, in a big way in the All-Star games and really endeared people after that East-West Shrine game. He's a guy that can stop the run, eat up multiple blockers. I really like him. He's a little bit athletic. I think he's an instant starter for the Buffalo Bills. In the third round, they drafted Alex Carrington, defensive end out of Arkansas State. A perfect five technique. Another player that they needed to build that 3-4 defense. So I like Alex Carrington. Small school guy. A lot of people may not know much about him, but he's big and he's very, very talented, very athletic for a big man and a guy his size, so he should be able to start right away. They, I think they got three instant starters in the first three rounds. In the fourth round, they drafted Marcus Easley, wide receiver out of UConn. Another guy that returns kicks, Marcus Easley is a guy that's very fast, very big, built on athletic skills. Not all that different from Bills wide receiver Lee Evans, so it's not the best compliment, but I think he's a guy that can come in and make an impact in the slot in year one. Fifth round, they drafted Ed Wang, offensive tackle. Ed Wang, very vocal leader. He's a guy that can kick inside the guard, a guy that can play right tackle. I don't think he's a franchise left tackle, and that's what the Bills needed, but he at least adds something to that offensive line. And they needed to add to that O-line. In the sixth, they drafted Arthur Motes, linebacker out of James Madison. He played defensive end in college. One of my favorite players in this draft. Fits the 3-4 defense perfectly. I think that they can develop him maybe a year or two, get him to play linebacker opposite Aaron Maben. And this is a guy that could be entrenched as a starter. He has a lot of upside. He is a very hard worker. Now, he doesn't have the greatest size, doesn't have the greatest speed, Speed, but he showed up at the combine, looked very fluid, and he did better than people expected. So I expected him to go a little bit earlier than this, so I really like what the Bills did. Then in the sixth, they drafted Danny Baton, who is another guy who's a 3 4 pass rusher. This is a guy that is going to need some more developing, but it'll give him at least good depth as an ultimate pass rusher. They drafted most, they drafted Baton, they drafted them both. As long as they pull out one starter from this, then it's going to work out for them. In the seventh, they got Levi Brown, quarterback out of Troy, the first, first quarterback they drafted. Levi Brown was an underrated player. He's big. He's athletic. He's someone that fits Chan Gailey's system very, very well. I would not be surprised if Levi Brown's a guy whose name creeps up during the season as someone they could put in place. 
I'm just wondering why they waited so long to address the QB position. In the seventh, they also drafted Kyle Callaway, offensive tackle out of Iowa. Another guy I like is he. I liked him even better than Ed Wang. I think Kyle Callaway is a guy that can play right tackle. He's not very versatile. Only really has one position at that right tackle spot, but he's solid enough. He doesn't have great strength. Doesn't have great athleticism, but he does everything well. His footwork's very good. He uses his hands very well. So I think Kyle Callaway is a guy that's going to make this team. Um, so as a whole, what do I think about this draft? Well, I think they missed the boat on their big needs. They had a shot at Brian Balaga at 9, didn't take him. Had a shot at Anthony Davis at 9, didn't take him. But they went for the the flashy pick and C.J. Spiller. Um, they had a shot at a couple quarterbacks. They had a shot at Jimmy Clausen in, in the second. They had a shot at Colt McCoy in the third. They didn't take those guys. Now, if they didn't like them, didn't feel their franchise guys, I understand it. But you're going to have another year of a pretty poor season. You're not going to be able to move the ball on offense, and it's going to be up to C.J. Spiller behind kind of a patchwork offensive line. So I give this draft a B. I think they added talent. I think they added starters. It seems like a draft that's more for the long haul. My fear is that Chan Gailey doesn't have a long leash as a first-year head coach. This is a guy that has to produce a little bit this year if he wants to stay on. Are they going to turn to Trent Edwards, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Brian Brom? I don't know who they're going to look to, but they have to find a quarterback here in the first year if they want to be successful. So a solid B grade from me. Uh, in terms of their undrafted free agents, one guy I really like, wide receiver out of Buffalo, Neyman Roosevelt, a guy I thought was a snuff at the Combine. He should have went to the Combine, but in his pro day looked very, very good, very athletic, caught the ball well. Uh, someone that's not a very high upside wide receiver, but with the wide receiver that core they have in Buffalo, I think he can beat out a Stevie Jones. I think he can make this team, so I want to see what Neyman Roosevelt can do. I also like Donald Jones, wide receiver out of Youngstown State that they signed. Uh, he's another guy that's very solid. He's not quite as big as Rolls felt more of a producer at Youngstown State. I'm not sure if he'll make the team because he is very, very raw, needs more coaching. So I was hoping he'd be a draft pick to kind of force a team to hold on to him. But uh, I think he'll might find his place down the line. Then Joyke Bell running back out of Wayne State. Big fan of Joyke Bell. I think he's a very good player. We saw it in the Senior Bowl. A little surprised he wasn't drafted, but he's not too versatile. Uh, he's opposite of C.J. Spiller. He's a guy that's just going to Put his head down, run forward. Runs a little high for my taste, uh, so I, I don't know if he's going to make the team, but he's another guy that can be a reserve running back if they trade away Marshawn Lynch. That's the big thing. Are they going to do something with the running backs to really get C.J. Spiller involved, get him and Fred Jackson to be a good complement to one another? I'm not sure, but I think it's a solid draft, a B draft. They got some starters. Not the starters I think they needed, though, and so I don't know how much this helps the team short-term, but it could help the team long-term if they stick it out with Chan Gailey's offense and with a 3-4. So there you go. There's the Buffalo Bills. Thank you guys for watching. Always appreciate it, and stay tuned tomorrow for the Cincinnati Bengals.